Well, the key word is naturalness. So it came from, I guess, the idea of Shizen or naturalness is the hot springs in Japan, we call them onsens, is, yeah, I mean, they're ubiquitous. They are ubiquitous. It's an important part of culture, the, you know, outdoor, um, you know, hot springs or ofuro, uh, bath, public baths and things. But anyway, you don't, you don't wear a swimwear into the ofuro. Of course, they're separated by sex, but you don't wear a swimwear into the, the ofuro or the hot spring. So there's this idea of, you know, um, skinship and just, you know, companies would go out together. So you go out with your boss and all of you are in the hot tub. The, well, the big, it's not a hot tub. It's, it's much larger than that. But you're all naked in there because naked, you know, we're all just humans and <laughs> we have nothing to hide. So that's, it's a metaphor. It's not literally about how to do an onsen. But the idea is that, yeah, to be vulnerable, which is why I love uh, Renee, how oh, it's her name, Renee Brown? Brown, yeah. Brown? Yeah. Um, I, Brene, Brene Brown, yeah. Brene, did I, what did I say, Renee? Anyway, Brene yeah. Brown, right? Yeah, yeah. I love, I love her. I, if you have, get, I love her books. I love the way she presents as well. But she talks about that vulnerability. And I think that's, I mean, that's what good filmmakers do too. It's, you're, you're putting yourself out there as a director or um, creator of a video, whatever. So I think it's the same. Um, so that's a key part of it is just being vulnerable, not for vulnerable sake. Some people do that. Even some TEDx talks or even TED talks maybe have been kind of lame because it looks like they're, it's sort of this, I don't know, it's still, it's all about me. I'm being vulnerable, but it seems in a way that's not really natural. It's a way of getting clicks and something like our street cred or something, you know what I'm, yeah. I'm trying to express, but when it's not really authentic, um, I think that often, you know, honest communication, natural communication shows a little bit of uh, vulnerability. Um, so there's that. And then even if you're using visuals, yes, you're using visuals, but it's not all about the visuals. And still, you're the most important thing. I remember, um, yeah, for example, there have been times when the technology just didn't work. And rather than say, which is, you know, oh, could you just wait? <laughs> you just, you just, you know, screw it. You just go on. In fact, there was a guy Kawasaki is a, he used to be a venture capitalist, but he had a pit. I think someone was pitching to him and then their their uh, notebooks didn't work. It wasn't working with the projector. And so while they were messing with it, he said something like, um, you know, this doesn't this is not working in your favor. And that those people, these were younger people, thought that was very unfair. Right. Wow. Oh, how dare you? We're just, you know, stuff happens. But, the, you know, this is, I agree with Guy, not just in pitching something, but just in general. The show must go on, and you have to have a backup plan. And so often when presenting, if you have someone else to take care of the tech, actually, I saw the guy do this. I think I wrote about it in my book. This guy, he was the CEO of uh, Universal Studios in Japan, this rough guy, interesting guy. But he came up, he didn't know about PowerPoint, he had people doing it, and it wouldn't work. The projector wasn't working. He just said, ah, screw it, I don't need that. And he just started talking. He told these great stories, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's great. But most people would go, oh, I gotta, oh, I need these slides. So let's, let's wait a moment. No, there's no wait a moment. The show must go on. <laughs>